Hello and welcome back to Jack Knives Reviews. I am of course your host, Jack Knives. Today I will be reviewing Encanto. Encanto is the story of the Madrigal family who live in a sentient house that grants them each special ability. All of the members have special abilities, except for one, Maribel. Slowly, the house starts experiencing cracks in its foundation, and the others start losing their powers. Maribel finds out that the one key to figuring out what is causing it and how to prevent it could lie with the one family member that none of them talk about, her uncle, Bruno. Of course, this movie is a Disney production, so they did put a ton of budget into this, and the animation is gorgeous. Especially the settings of the hillside, the flowers, and all these other things. But I really like the little touches that they do for each of the abilities of the family members, where some of them would seem more of a burden than they would be any sort of special ability. And the biggest upside I really enjoyed about the movie is the way they were able to tackle mental health. Especially in the Latino community, mental health is a stigma that is still to this day seen as either non-existing or not really mattering. And I feel that with this movie, it was able to touch on it and hopefully help families dealing with similar issues of expectation and tradition of suppression of their own mental state, hopefully overcome those fears and be able to openly discuss those things. And I think that was the major intention of the film. Also, I don't really know much about Colombian culture. I mean, I assume it's very much family oriented and centered like all Latino families are. To be honest, even if this wasn't a Disney production, I was gonna go see it because the main actress who plays Maribel is Stephanie Beatrice, who many may know as Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and Diane Guerrero plays the perfect, eloquent sister, and I love both of those actors. And it is kind of funny because both of them are known for playing, like, badass characters. Stephanie Beatrice is Rosa, and Diane Guerrero as Crazy Jane from Doom Patrol. They need a sitcom. Make it happen. The music is fantastic with Lin-Manuel Miranda Again, hitting it out of the park. I love his music style. He blends a good balance of salsa, hip hop, Latino, rap, little bit of funk, little bit of jazz, a little bit of everything thrown in between. And it's, it's just great to listen to. I mean, I think as of right now, the song We Don't Talk About Bruno is like a double platinum. As far as a single, it's like that popular. And it's a catchy song. Like, it really does get in your head. I mean, technically, my personal favorite song is Surface Pressure. I like that one. He's slowly becoming the Disney guy as far as the music soundtracks go. I mean, he did, obviously, Hamilton, which isn't really a Disney production, but it was financed and put on Disney+. Plus. Then he made Moana, and now he made Encanto. So I'm curious to see what he's going to do next, because it's only a matter of time before he gets more and more awards and gets more and more appreciation as the time goes on. The major downside I had with this film is it felt short. I don't know if it was just me because the majority of the movie is establishing the family, their dynamics, what they do, what their abilities are, what that entails. And then by the time they actually get to the conflict, you realize like three fourths of the movie's over. So you're like, oh, okay, well, I guess we got to rush this now. And also there wasn't really a antagonist. It was more of all inner conflict stuff, but, and I mean, it is serious stuff to tackle and there doesn't necessarily need to be an antagonist. But to me, I think the biggest issue is, I don't know why, but it feels as though, at least in my opinion, Disney kind of ripped themselves off. I, I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority about this, but the overall base outline plot of the movie, not the powers, but the whole conflict within the inner turmoil of the family and expectations and precedent and the one main character of the girl being the one that's underappreciated or underutilized. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that sounds a lot like the movie Brave. A movie that I have repeatedly told people is so underrated. I mean, I don't, 
I, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I mean, think about it. The concept of magic, the concept of an underutilized woman who's set with expectations from her family, a family who doesn't want to talk to each other or communicate with whatever problems they're having. And eventually the conflict is resolved by them communicating and interacting with one another. And just saying, a lot of parallels there. But that's just my opinion. But overall, it didn't really ruin the experience for me and it was an enjoyable movie. And it's probably one I could see myself watching again. Probably wouldn't be my top Disney movies, but it would be one that if it's on, I'll watch it. But personally, if I'm going for Latino representation as far as Disney movies, I personally prefer Coco, but that's me. I give Encanto four and a half out of five. Have you seen Encanto? Let me know in the comments down below. You know what to do. Till next time. <laughs>